said anything. Um, <laughs> Tynesha from the very first oh my God. vlog. And um, the food is a very long wait. It is literally 37 minutes, and that's the, the shortest wait time for one of the food things back there. So if you come here, download the app <laughs> and do it way ahead of time. Two hours before, allegedly. Yes, because I have three classes back to back and I'm not sure if I'll eat before then. That's crazy. Okay, anything you want to say? Did you have a class yet? Yeah, I have a class. I'm a grad student. This is not just me. I've been here for a month. It's everybody else's first day. This is not my first rodeo. So I'm not in the same boat as you. But yes. this is not his first day of school. So welcome him back to Ithaca. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. This is This is how we're doing it. Okay, keep you guys posted. I can't. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Doesn't look like it. <laughs>stopped here I'm going to my third class of the day business class my very first business class I've always wanted to take a class in business and I get to um, so very excited it's called hidden entrepreneurs and I'll tell you all about the day and everything as soon as I get out of there I am finally eating my very first meal of the day this is the sliders from um, the sliders from Ithaca I don't know what I honestly don't remember where I got these from I see square. You guys want to say hi? <laughs> That's Tynesha and hi. Chantel. Hi. Yeah. But, um, starving. This is a good place to come. If you're a first year student or you're thinking of coming to Ithaca, this is the PRW, so Peggy Ryan Williams Center. You can see it right behind me. We do our tours from here. And it's just a really beautiful view of campus next to the business school so you can come here and just chill. Um, I think it's a great place to do work and of course to now eat because I'm starving. Bye. Okay so if you don't know our campus <laughs> I can't, our campus is really inaccessible um, <laughs> because it's built on a hill and so there, there are like always options like you know, you can find little ways for most things, I think, to get somewhere. But I live in circles now, which is basically like the end of campus if you're going north. And I don't want to walk. I, I literally, no, that would, like, my foot would, I would be in punishment, on punishment, if I walked all the way up there. So, I'm not. And I don't even know if you could crutch up the hill like that, like, and I know I would need the crutches at that point if I tried to do go up there. Because right now I like kind of need it, kind of don't. When you're walking so much, my foot starts to hurt. So then it's like kind of helpful. I missed the bus. So I think it's another 30 minutes for the next bus. Hopefully that's not the case, but that it usually is. Um, if you're from New York, you know that we can get a bus any second, but that is one of the one of the adjustments from New York to a smaller town. Kind of have to plan. But I think it was early, because I was I had enough time to make it. I think it was early. Another bus just came and I missed it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I wanted to sit down. No. Oh my gosh. Literally 30 minutes later, there is the bus, finally. <laughs> I'm literally going like two stops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I accidentally took the bus downtown. I don't understand. Like, how? How did I do this? How did I make this mistake, of all the mistakes, and all the times to make this mistake? Right now. I have ditched my crutches for the night and trying trying it out walking without them um, just to see how it is. I think I'm pretty good um, and my arm hurts from the crutches. <laughs> I feel like this has all been more complicated because I was 
hit by a car years ago, so it's not like my feet just automatically rebound. These are the Circle Apartments. They're so nice. I was never up here as a freshman, and the grass feels so soft. It's kind of like a private, it feels like a private area, like, like a gated community. Oh my god. I just stepped in like a marsh. Oh my god, there are like gnats over here. Oh my god. Okay. That's just with my foot. We used to have to all go to the mail center to get our mail. And now they go to like specific places near your, near where you live. So I'm going to the Circle's mail room now. This is so cool. Okay, so I guess these are the lockers. That's the lounge. I've never been in here. This is so nice. So they sent us a QR code and now I just have to put that in for my email and then my box will open. I'll get my stuff and they'll be able to fill it with someone else's stuff because right now all the boxes are filled so they actually don't even have room for other people's stuff. So glad I'm doing this. The box literally just opened when I put the code in. It's Olipop, oh my gosh. The laundry room is so big compared to what I had before in another dorm. Oh my gosh, okay. really good. I think that um, college is just very hard in a way that you wind up having to make sure that you have you. You don't have to have a strong sense of self to go to college, but if you have other things that you want to do while you're in college, you need to really have some idea of who you are and that takes time to develop. And as a senior, I can say I have way more of an idea of who I am. Um, this Stroop waffle got so hard at the bottom, especially because of the pandemic. You, I spent so much time walking alone through New York City and just doing things alone. And it really helped in terms of like, I have, again, a stronger sense of self the reason why college is hard because you're dealing with so many people like i realized that today during introductions running into people you're dealing with a lot of different personalities i don't know you live here but you don't really ever get to get away and i think it's good that you're exposed to a lot right like you're better for it but at the same time it's very difficult now knowing what i know just about how real energy is and matter and vibes. It's very difficult to bring you to the table every day. It's not difficult, but it's a challenge, right? To decide to be happy, to be who you are, to have that strong sense of self to keep doing the things that you want to do and to be firm in that today we had so many different professors you know so many you're coming into contact with so many different people who expect so many different things from you and i think that's like post pandemic what i'm realizing that like that's just one thing i would if you're like in high school thinking about college or about to come to college like really i think start just start to learn more about you figure out what you want and what you don't want um that can sometimes be even better than what you do start crossing things off my little big brother moment 
thank you for spending my very last, at least of undergraduate, first day, my very last first day. Thank you for being here for it and for spending it with me. And let me know what you want to see in vlogs about campus and all that. I will next time be using my camera, use my iPhone today. Sorry about that. Um, just was, it flew in. Everything was crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, next time I film, I'll definitely be on my camera and all that. So I appreciate y'all. Please say hi in the comments. Bye. <laughs> oh. Um, what was I going to say? Um, sending you high vibes. <laughs>